M0 FXB, let's add our repeater to our Retivis C1 and save to memory. First thing, I will put it into VFO mode by pressing the red button here and look just here where it changes. Press it once, frequency it says mode. frequency mode VFO. If you go again, channel you've got mode. channel mode and memory mode, memory mode, which is the same thing, but it shows the frequency. Now we can show the, the display memory name, but we need to use the software for that. But we can add a repeater and save it to a memory channel, no problem. Press the red button. Frequency mode. And you might as well, while you're here, type your frequency. So we'll just go one, four, five, seven, five, zero. That's GB3 BC. Put all the noughts in. There's our frequency. Oh, yeah, as you can see, it's dual watch this radio. A and B is with the star. And you can turn off the dual watch as well. So press menu. Menu. System then, config. Then go down with the arrow. Device information. Not device. Channel setting. Channel setting. Look for that. Then go menu. Channel name. Now if we start at the top. Channel delete. Number one. Transmit power. Transmit power. If we go green, choose your high or low. Transmit power. Then go to, we don't band need set. band sex, we've already typed the frequency, but if we select it, you've got wide and narrow there. Band set. Keep going down until you get to eight. CTVCS now, code. decode actually, CTVCS number seven, code. press menu, and you want to make sure that's off in my on my GB3BC. That's the, So when it receives, it won't need to find any tone, and it, you will hear everything. Go back with the red button. Encode means when it's transmitting. So encode CTCSS, press the green. And then we want 94.8, so go up and down until you see that. And then press the green again. Okay. That's good. Then go down one. Signal ambiguity. And again. Step. And again. And you want shift. It's a minus shift for that repeater. So menu. Choose plus or minus. So we want minus. So when you transmit, it will shift. Now we need to tell it how much to shift by. So go down one again. Offset frequency. Offset. Go menu. And then for the repeater for ha to have a 600 shift, just go 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. There you go. Zero. And then menu. Okay. Offset frequency. Okay. Now if we come out all the way, we can actually access our repeater now 145750 m0 fxb test test and you can see when you transmit it shows the power and the ct css now to save it so at the moment we're still in vfo mode you go back to the same menu menu channel setting channel set menu offset frequency now frequency. you're looking for channel save, channel save. there's 14 number 14 menu and then choose the channel number let's choose um Let's choose number 12. There you go. Channel 12. And we'll go menu. It's saved. So we're in VFO mode at the moment. But if we go to press the red button. Channel mode. Channel mode. Now when you first press it, number 12, but it's just saying channel 12. Let's go press the red button again. Memory and now we're mode. in memory mode. So using your software, you can add the, the name and it will show the name. Uh, if we go back to a lower channel, Two. this is where I've used the actual software, look. And you can make the screen go white as well, go menu, menu. Channel. System config, config. Display, and then type. display type is 22, okay, display type, so it's yellow square, 22, then menu, and it goes daytime. Now, okay. I know it looks very glary and doesn't look great at the moment but I'll tell you now in this mode it looks like it actually looks really cool it looks really nice so thanks for watching you know it's a nice it's a very nice looking chunky device you need that kind of programming cable I'll put the uh, a link into the description of the video I made using the software and you've got programmable buttons there uh, emergency button proper volume and channel change and it's a nice set so bye for now all the best